It's scary, cancer. You hear the word cancer, it's scary. It's scary. My name is Fred Carl. I'm a musician and a composer for musical theater, and I teach musical theater writing at a university and a graduate program in New York City. ESA is not the only marker for cancer in some men. I had a low PSA, very high risk cancer. For black men, this whole, you know, a prostate stuff is very, is, is really, I was like, oh, I should have been getting screened for this, you know, <laughs> much younger. Why, why isn't genetic testing more available? If that were the case, then it would have been a marker like, oh, this guy, me, is at high risk for pancreatic cancer and for prostate cancer, so we need to be looking at this. It is super important to be comfortable with your healthcare provider. You should be able to tell them anything that might be relevant, and sometimes you don't know what that is. I was in a sex club and this XYZ happened, so can you look at my penis? If you're not comfortable saying that, then nobody's looking at your penis medically. Over the years, I've learned if I'm not gonna advocate for myself, I mean, you know, why should anybody else, really? I don't think that, I, that the doctor needs to be male, I don't think that the doctor needs to be gay, and I don't think that the doctor needs to be black. I remember my oncologist, who is not gay, uh, at one point said to me, How's, do you have a sex life? I was like, oh, oh, well, that was a surprise. And I said, no, I don't. He said, uh, do you have a partner? I said, no, I don't. And he said, is that, is, is that something that you want? And I said, well, I don't think I want that right now, but I really appreciated him asking. <laughs> Those folks hopefully are thinking and understanding the world in some kind of ways where they understand inequality and inequity to help people get past shame, to get past feeling like, oh, I'm broken, you, the doctor, are working to keep that out of the room. I think that that's important. I'm learning to uh, really intentionally lean on people and to take the support and to accept the support. And that that doesn't mean that I'm weak. It means that I'm a human. I'm not that unique. Everybody's going through something. I need to kind of share that with the world in some kind of way to hopefully help somebody else.